Hey kiddos, welcome to this week's homework where we are looking at customary weight or the way that we weigh things here in the US. We are comparing a couple of different items, starting with these boxes where we're gonna use our greater than, less than, or equal to sign. So right here I have two pounds or 16 ounces. There's 16 ounces in one pound, which means that two pounds is the greater amount five ounces or 32 pounds. There's 16 ounces in one pound. So 32 pounds is definitely going to be the greater value. This one, I had to think it through a little bit. Three pounds or 48 ounces. If I multiply this by 16, because there's 16 ounces in every pound, that gives me 48 ounces. These two are equivalent. Four ounces or one pound, this is 16 ounces. It is the greater amount. And down here, seven pounds or 144 ounces. If I multiply these pounds by 16 ounces, I will see that 144 is the greater amount. Last one, six pounds or 128 ounces. Again, multiply by 16, we would see that 128 ounces is the greater value. Any questions on these kiddos? bring them with you to class. All right, doing direct conversion on page number two, which means we have to use our converter facts. Remember, if they are hard for you to remember, they are in the printable in the classroom. So here we go. 80 ounces. How many pounds is that? Well, there's 16 ounces in a pound, which means I have to divide, or I can use guess and check multiplication. 80 divided by 16 leaves me with five pounds. Over here, four pounds, how many ounces is that? There's 16 ounces in a pound. So if I set these up to multiply, six and four is 24, four and one is four, add two is six, 64 ounces. 128 ounces, two pounds. This is another division. This was a bigger one. If you had trouble, that's okay. It's a scale we're continuing to grow. It leaves us with eight pounds. Six pounds, how many ounces is that? Well, I could find out by multiplying that by 16 ounces for each pound. Gives me 96 ounces. Down here, 48 ounces is how many pounds I have to divide to go from ounces to pounds, and I get three. Last one on this page. Yes, last one on this page, two pounds. How many ounces is that? Two times 16 gives me 32. If you have any questions on these, bring them with you to class. If you had trouble with the division, strongly suggest using guess and check multiplication as an alternate because I know that these are going to divide evenly and I can multiply by 16 to see where I'm getting, okay? We do want to grow that division, but... We have lots of strategies to help us get to our final answer. All right, love bugs. We see here that we have pounds and ounces. That tells me this is not going to work out evenly. When I divide 75 by 16, it does not go in evenly. It goes in four times. And when I get my remainder, I get a remainder of 11. So four pounds, 11 ounces, remainder stays in the same, um, same label type. Ounces to pounds, ounces to pounds. Well, there's 16 ounces in a pound. So I have to divide this by 16. I'm gonna get one pound and I have a remainder of 11. So one pound, 11 ounces. Coming down here, ounces to pounds. I have to divide this by 16. When I do 116 divided by 16, it goes in seven times evenly, but that's not going to leave me without a remainder of four ounces. Up here, 98 divided by 16. Again, doing pounds to ounces. It goes in evenly six times and it leaves me with two ounces left over. Down here, 56 ounces. Again, same strategy, dividing by 16. It goes in three times 
and it leaves me with eight ounces. Last one, 188. Again, we know at this point we're dividing by 16. It's going to go in 11 times. 11 and 16 leaves me with a remainder of 12. If you have questions on this page, please bring them with you to class. All right, determine the sum and convert your answer. So we had a double step equation here. So first things first, we have to add up 112 and 64. It gives us 176 ounces, but it wants my answer in pounds. So if I divide this by 16, I get 11 pounds. Over here, if I add up my ounces, I have two, eight, and three is 11. If I do 112 divided by 16, it leaves me with seven pounds. So if you just got the ounces on these, that is okay. If you were able to do the ounces and pounds, that's fantastic, okay? 176 ounces plus 48 ounces gives us 224 ounces. When I divide that by 16, I get 14 pounds. 96 ounces and 144 ounces gives me 240 ounces. When I divide that by 16, I get 15 pounds. Coming down here, 94 and 47 gives me 141 ounces. Notice that tells me I'm going to have a remainder. It goes in eight times, but again, not evenly. We know this because we see that remainder. We have a remainder of 13. Last one, 63 and 19 gives us 82 ounces. Again, I know that I'm gonna have a remainder. It goes in five times. And when I figure out, that leaves me with two ounces left over. Any questions on these? Please bring them with you to class. All right, Nuggets, looking at the difference and then convert to ounces. So looking at it backwards, three pounds, or I'm sorry, six pounds minus three pounds is three pounds. Multiply by 16 to convert that. 16 times three gives me 48 ounces. Over here, nine pounds minus seven. Nine minus seven is two pounds or 32 ounces as I take my two and I multiply by 16. Down here, 18 minus eight, or I'm sorry, 16 minus eight is eight pounds. If I multiply that eight by 16, I end up with 128 ounces. 15 pounds minus two is 13 pounds. Double, double, I know this was a big ask of you, 208 ounces. 10 minus four is six. And when I multiply that by 16, I get 96 ounces. Last one over here, 12 minus five leaves me with seven pounds. And when I multiply that by 16, I'm left with 112 ounces. Any questions, sweet faces, please bring them with you to class. Have a good weekend.